my, 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 my. Why do I feel the need to bathe? So how was it, Blanche? Oh, you might as well ask me to describe the glory of the great smoky mountains as they rise from the mist of a Carolina dawn. They went to a sleazy motel. Or the colors of the monarch butterfly spreading its wings as it emerges from the miracle of the cocoon. She got him to pay for half the room. <laughs> or the sturdy cypress reaching heavenward, tall and mighty and proud. That one, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. At this hour. Oh, I bet it's Jerry coming back for his goodnight kiss. You know, sometimes you get so busy buttoning up and all you forget. <laughs> how do you do? I'm Millicent Kennedy, Gerald's mother. Oh, how do you do? I'm looking for the cheap Jezebel who's ruining my Gerald's life. Blanche Company! Blanche Devereaux? I'm here to tell you to keep your hands off my baby. He's very special, and no one can take care of him the way I can. Well, excuse me, but I haven't heard any complaints so far. <laughs> Did you know that Gerald is afraid of clowns? <laughs> or that he can't go to the bathroom, except at home? Oh, so that's why there's that look on his face right before they get to the weather. Just leave my dumpling alone, understand? Or else. Blanche, why did you let her go? She'd be the perfect person to ask if there's anything about Jerry I could make fun of at the roast. <laughs> Jerry is not a mama's boy. In fact, he and I came to a major understanding tonight. He and his mother aren't gonna see any other girls. <laughs> Jerry is simply a man who happens to be sensitive to his mother's needs. Ma Blanche is right. Jerry's aware his mother is getting on in years. He's concerned about her happiness, and he's chosen to live at home with her because he can't go to the bathroom any place else. I think I have my opening for the roast. Listen. Good evening, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your Cornish game, Hen. <laughs> what, what's so funny about that? Oh, I didn't set it up. You see, we're serving Cornish game, Hen. <laughs> oh, well, now that you've explained it. <laughs> but this still doesn't say anything about Jerry. I know, I know, but I've drawn a blank. I even called his brother. They haven't spoken since Jerry was arrested for public nudity. <laughs> Damn it, there is just nothing funny about that clown-fearing mama's boy. He is not a mama's boy, and to prove it, he has agreed to bring his mother over here tomorrow afternoon so he can stand up to her in front of me. Good for you, Blanche. But if confronting Mrs. Kennedy doesn't work, the three of you might consider a joint therapy session. Therapy's a wonderful idea. Oh, I remember St. Olaf's most famous psychotherapist. The Freud brothers, Sigmund and Roy. Oh. You may have read their bestseller, If I Have All the Cheese I Want, Why Am I Still Unhappy? 